Dear souls, dear people of the earth, you are a product of a mistaken identity. Because you identify yourself with your perishable body and not your divine soul, you feel that your perishable, transient or transformable, transient body transforms and builds again. But if you identify yourself with the still point of eternity, which is ever the same and ever immortal, there will be no mortality to ask for immortality. But for this, you have to escape through a certain net, through the net of Maya. It is called the Maya Jal, which scientists call the space-time continuum. Now, what is this, this space-time continuum? You see, I am a villager here. I am staying in the village of Simmagad in the forest, rather. And to me, I feel that there are two things. That there is space. What is space? Space is the distance travelled from one point to the other. What is time? Time is the duration between one event and the other. So now this travelling from one distance to the other and events happening from one time to another the duration, distance and duration, they form a net called the space-time continuum. This continually happens. You know, distance, event. So now, this person which is you, let us say, involved in relativity has to be a particle because for consciousness, there is no space, there is no time because he does not bother about travelling from one distance to another nor marking the duration, time taken between one event and the other. But if you are a particle or a thinking principle called man, then you have subject to space and time. Now, a yogi is not staying in space and time he is not identifying himself with the physical body or the particle of matter or atom. He is identifying himself with consciousness which is beyond space and time. <laughs> so he has nothing to do with that. And he is a master of both space and time because he is above that. The shortest possible distance travelled by a particle in the smallest smallest period of time forms one angle of the frame. Then the shortest possible distance travelled in the smallest duration of time forms the other time frame. There are many small time frames. Is that clear? These small time frames of Space-time frames, they are called, of space and times. A particle which travels the shortest possible distance in the shortest possible time forms many, many, many time frames of the space-time continuum. Now, this space-time continuum is what is called the Maya Jal. It is for, called the web of space and time. And any soul or consciousness who is deluded, deluded into thinking that he is subject to space and time, is subject to disease, decay and death, is subject to mortality. Now how to get out of this space-time continuum of the particle travelling the smallest possible space, travelling uh, the smallest possible distance in the shortest possible time? is to get to a state of no mind where you travel no distance 
in no time. And then that consciousness can escape the space-time continuum of the smallest possible distance in the smallest possible time. If he travels no distance, he takes no time to travel that distance and escapes the net of the space-time continuum which subjects every deluded soul who thinks he is matter into disease, decay and death. So he has to get into this state of Kaivalya or Asampradnyat Samadhi, that Samadhi which is beyond the space-time continuum. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. And with this, I have done my best to explain to you how through the superior process of the union of your indwelling spirit with the universal spirit, you can escape the space-time continuum, escape disease, decay and death and be immortal which you already were, already am and already are. Om Namah Shivaya.